Hello, my friends and family out there. This is the ambassador coming to you again on another beautiful day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it and that we are in the land of the living. So we have a very special um, subject today and it is, yes, the subject for today is the time is now. What time is it? It's time to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Yes, people, we don't need to wait any longer if we have been procrastinating, saying that we can do it later or I'm too young or whatever the reason. God will accept you if you repent of your sins. And what repenting really is, is turning away from that sin to not do it again. But if you do have a problem with it and you can't ha help yourself, as they say, you got the can't help it, well, you've, you continue to pray and read your scriptures every day. You pray, read your Bible, yes, and even fasting. Uh, we do need fasting that also helps our spiritual life. And we really have to be spiritual nowadays because we have to worship the Lord God in spirit and in truth. And during these times today, we really, really need help from the Lord. And you, because you know what? Uh, the Lord, he is our help. And I'm going to read to you some of Psalms 91 to let you know just how it is that we need the Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Yes, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Yes, people, God will not let us fear. We don't have the spirit of fear. He takes all fear away from us. We totally depend on him because he is our help. He is our savior. He is our redeemer. He has saved us from a world of sin and shame. We have peace and love in our hearts today. We can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. And yes, he is our shield and he is our buckler. He is our secret place is where we go when we need help. We go to our secret closet and we summon the Lord by praying to him in secret so that he will reward us, yes, in the light. Yes, people, we need the Lord God today with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength is what we are to love him with. We are to do his will because his will is best for us. Now, he made every single one of us dear ones. He made us. He knows exactly how we think, what we need, what we want, but we also have to petition him, partition him for what we want. He, he A lot of times he just will not give us uh, things because we say in our minds we want it. We have to voice it before the Lord and tell him what it is we need and what we want. And he said that he would give us all things according to his riches and glory. 
Yes, we can ask for anything according to the will of God. Now, we don't ask for things that's going to hurt others or things that's not correct. We ask him for just good things and all good things come from above. Yes, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ takes care of us. He always takes care of us. He always warns the prophets so that they can tell others exactly what he is getting ready to do. Yes, he never leaves his people in the dark. And you know what? We say of the Lord, he is our refuge. He's our fortress. You know, like there's a, a Fort Knox um, where the gold is. Uh, they got it surrounded with the Fort Knox and uh so that's how God is. He surrounds us. He is our fort and our fortress and our refuge. He, he uh, gets us and redeems us and keeps us under the shadow of his wings. Oh, yes, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall we trust. There is nothing like trusting the Lord God Almighty because he is God all by himself. And you know what? There is none other beside him. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed by God to Israel. Israel is Jacob's previous name. So when God speaks of Israel, the man, he's speaking of Israel, the man, and he's speaking Israel, the people. God is not referring in the Bible to the state of Israel. When he speaks of Israel, he's talking about his people, Israel. He's talking about um, his people, Israel, and he's talking uh, about Jacob. Now, he has started to call Jacob Israel. So that's God's name for, for Jacob. And also, he changed Paul's name. He changed it from Saul to Paul. Yes, God changes our name. God knows our name, and he knows the name that he has given each and every one of us. And he knows what name we are called by on this earth. He knows every single thing about us, everything we think, everything we do, everything that we're going to do. God knows all about us and he knows what's best for us. And a lot of times, people, beloveds, a lot of times we don't want the right things. We, we want things that's going to hurt us and what's going to harm us in the short or the long run. And sometimes God will not answer those prayers that he knows is not good for us. But if we keep on, keep on, keeping on asking him, sometimes he will allow it just to let you know and me know that we ask for the wrong thing. So yes, that helps us to depend more on his, his, uh, of things that he wants us to have instead of what we want because we always mostly ask amiss when we don't have God in our lives. Oh yes, God is a wonderful God. And he says, thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by night. We're not afraid of the terror by night, although we don't go out and run in dark alleys at night and, and do things that are going to tempt the Lord because we should have better sense and common sense and wisdom from God to do things that is going to harm us. So when we have the spirit of God in us, when we have the spirit of God, we have wisdom. God will give you wisdom if you ask him for it. He will freely give it to you. He will freely give you whatever it is you need. And as the book says in Psalm 37, he also will give you the desires of your heart. Yes, the desires of your heart. Now, these desires have to be according to not be uh, going against the will of God or going against his commandments or but anything else. Yes, you can ask for it. And you can believe it. And what also, what you can do is you can speak the word. 
What you want to come to pass, you can speak the word. Put it out there in the atmosphere and let God know what it is that you desire. Oh, yes, people. You know, we, we prosper as our souls prosper. Now, if we are not living for Christ, we have a superficial, artificial uh, God, and that is Satan. You either are going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil himself. There is no in-between people. And during these times that's going on now with the coronavirus and all the other things that's happening on the earth, the earthquakes, the, the tornadoes, the floodings, the wildfires, the locusts, the grasshoppers uh, taking over Las Vegas, uh, and all these other countries like uh, I think Kenya was taken over by the locusts and so was Israel. So people, so much is happening and it's happening all at the same time. Yes, all at the same time, all over the world. You have to keep uh, a forehead uh, to see and know what is actually going on. Now, if you would read your Bible, you would also know that we are in the very, very end times, that we are pretty much in the, uh, the what they call, they call it the tribulation, no, not the tribulation. They call it something else. It won't even come to my mind right now, but we are in the birth pains. That's it. We're in the birth pains now. And these birth pains are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. We were a people of God. We, this country was mainly the, the country that took the gospel all over the world. But now we have a lot of other things going on in the world that is not pleasing to God at all. So yes, people, you need God. I need God. We all need him. He made us. How can we live without him? He made every one of us. He knows every one of us. He knew us in our womb. Yes, he knew us before we were even born. And even in the womb, he put a purpose in each and every one of us. And it's up to us to know him and to find out what that purpose is. We have to have a close relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross that we might have eternal life. And yes, eternal life. The Bible says, call on my name. Call on my name. Yes, call his name, Jesus. And yes, he will save you. He will deliver you from all problems and situations. Not that we never have problems again. Yes, we do. Because the, the righteous have many tribulations, but God delivers us out of them all. We have God behind us. We have the whole heaven backing us. We have our uh, particular uh, angels that God has assigned to us that keeps us and keeps us in the time of trouble and, and gives us joy. We also, going through we know God is coming to our rescue. We know that. And we believe him. We believe that he's coming. Yes, he delivers us out of, out of all things. And no, there is nothing too hard for God. There's nothing that he can't take from you if you're willing to let it go. There's nothing that he can't do for you. Just as I said before, we prosper as our souls prosper. Yes, our soul has to prosper in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our everything. He is our all in all. He is everything that we need. There is nothing outside of him that we need. Everything is in him, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, people, we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus Christ, who died for us that we might live. So yes, accept Jesus Christ today. 
because we don't know how long uh, we're going to last. We don't know what's fixing to happen, although some of the prophets can tell you. But you know what? People don't want to hear prophecy today. They would just want to hear, uh, what is it? The good stuff, the soft stuff, the stuff that's going to make them feel good. But let me tell you, God is a God of love, but he is also a God of wrath. And he will revenge his son for what has happened on the earth. He will revenge his son, Jesus Christ. He will do that to everyone who does not accept him because Jesus died. He died. He shed his blood. He was tortured. Yes, for our sakes, that God would allow us back into the fold because God was going to destroy us all. And Jesus said, I'll go down and redeem man back to God. What kind of love is this? What kind of love? Agape love. Agape love. There's no other love like it. So yes, people, the Lord Jesus Christ is your answer to everything. If you have PTSD and coming back from wars and whatever, read your word. Read the Bible every day. Let God take that from you. If you have any kind of sickness or disease, let God take that from you. Read uh, healing scriptures every day more than once, three, four, five times a day. Read healing scriptures and believe God. It may not come the same day. It may not come the same week. It may not come the same month, but it's coming if you believe. God is God. He can do anything but fail. But it's up to us, dear people, to worship him in spirit and in truth and to love him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. He is the God of the universe. He made the heavens and the earth is what the scriptures say. He made, yes, he made the heavens and the earth. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. God is so wonderful. He's so great. He's so good. And he keeps us with joy, even in the time of trouble. Even though we're going through all these things and we don't know exactly what's going to happen. But God keeps us. He keeps us. He keeps us in his arms. He keeps us with the joy inside that can only come from him. The world cannot give you joy. The world cannot give you peace. The, the world cannot give you love. All good things come from God. And if you don't have the love of God in you, there is no way that you can love someone else. You have to have the love of God in you. Yes, people, we do this because we love God and we also love you. Oh, yes. Yes, the love of God is in me. And that's why I love you. So, yes, people, God is a wonder. He's awesome. He's great. He's magnificent. He's everything that is good and righteous and holy. And he says, be ye holy for I am holy. Yes. No, we don't necessarily get rid of everything at the same time when we get saved. And that's a mistake that some people make. They say, well, I can't live this. But yes, you can. When you fall, you get right back up. You don't wallow in the mud and the muck and the mire. When you fall, you get back up no matter how many times. But and then after a while, you're just like a baby. After a while, you're going to be crawling. Then you, after a while, you're going to be walking. And then after a while, you're going to be running. Yes, you have to keep going. This, this is a race. And we have to win if we're going to go to heaven. We got to win this race. And if you are... It says some type of an athlete, which I used to be. I was a fast runner. And uh, there was nobody in my city that could beat me as a female. So uh, all females could not beat me. 
But let me tell you something. There's a greater race than that on this earth. There's greater things than sports and, and certain things that we are so caught up in. There's greater things. There's higher things. God wants to take you to higher heights and deeper depths in him. He is God. He wants us to have the best on the earth. Yes, believe me. Read your Bible. It's there. He wants to give us the best of everything. But what did I say? What did the Bible say? We prosper as our soul prosper. Now, you know what? A lot of people, they have a lot and they don't serve God. But that doesn't mean that they have eternal life. And why would you, uh, why would you uh, gain the whole world and lose your soul? Your soul is for eternity. It lives once you pass from this earth. You go directly, directly into the spirit world. And you're either going to God or you're going to the other place. No, we are always going to be conscious. We will be conscious even after death. So people, love yourself, love your family, and I hope you love me, but yes, Love yourself and your family that and your neighbor. And what the scriptures say, love thy neighbor as thyself. Thy neighbor is everyone. Everyone is your neighbor. Everyone. So yes, people, we have to obey. We go to school. We obey the teacher. We go to work. We obey our supervisors. We were children. We had to obey our, our parents. And when we did it, we get into a lot of trouble when we did not obey our parents. So what do you think it's going to be with God? If we don't obey him, which he always has our best interests at heart. If we don't obey him, we're going to be in a lot of trouble for eternity. Yes, people, this is no plaything. Right now, we're in the birth pains. We're in the birth pains, and these birth pains are going to get stronger and stronger. God loves you, and he loves all of us, but he will not tolerate sin. And he says, a liar will not tarry in his sight, meaning that all liars will not see heaven. So if we happen to tell a lie or a fib, which is a lie, ask God quickly for forgiveness and try not to do it again. Whatever it is we're doing, if we're fornicating, if we're uh, doing adultery, no matter what it is, God can save you from it. He can save you from anything and everything. And what, what do we do? We trust him. We believe in him because he's real. And if you seek his face, read his word, talk to him, he will come and deliver you. But you have to be consistent and you have to be able to be willing to do it as long as it takes. And hopefully, if your heart is really right, it won't take that long at all. God is just waiting, waiting to bless you, to bless you and your family. So this is all I have for today. I wish you would uh, like my videos. And I wish you would subscribe as well. So people, I would love to get enough subscriptions so that I can go live and talk to you. I really would love to do that. So please subscribe. And until the next time, this is the ambassador saying to you, 
peace, love, and be blessed.